Good evening, collectible connoisseur. It's been a couple of weeks since I made a video and I wanted to show off some cards that I've acquired recently. Um, my acquisitions haven't slowed down even if my video production has. So um, let's just dive right in and look at some cards. First card I want to show off and uh, talk just a, a, a shade about is actually a card that I don't intend to keep. Uh, this is a 2019 uh, Tops. It's a kind of a, a I don't know what you call these. Uh, I guess okay. It's a checklist card, and on the front are uh, Boston's Boys and uh, Mookie Betts, Andrew Benintendi. Now, if you know me, you know that I collect graded cards of Andrew Benintendi, and I like the card. I like it a lot. I think it's ironic that neither of these guys play in Boston anymore. Uh, but you'll see that it's in a SGC holder, and I like to collect PSA-graded cards. I acquired this card uh, because it was part of a, um, a multi-card lot that had several cards that I wish to collect and hold on to. Um, this one was just part of, part of the overall group, and um, at some point, probably sometime soon um, if you follow me on eBay or if you uh, look in on my items on COMC uh, check out my cards.com COMC.com you'll probably find this uh, SGC 95 Boston's Boys Beantown's Finest take the field you might find it out there for sale Now, the last card featured Benintendi in a multi-player uh, card. Mookie Betts a pretty good player to be featured with, but how about getting featured with Mike Trout? He's pretty good. This is uh, 2015 Bowman's Best. Mike Trout, Andrew Benintendi, Mirror Image uh, card. Uh, graded PSA, which I like, 9. Uh, I guess the premise, there was a... a little subset themes of upcoming uh, rookie ball players, and in this case, 2015 is the year Benintendi was drafted, and it did them the disservice, but uh, it compared them uh, to current ball players, and Benintendi got compared to Mike Trout. Not a bad way to go, not a bad card to have. One more Benintendi for my PSA graded Andrew Benintendi um, uh, themed collection. And this is the 2017 Andrew Benintendi um, tops uh, in the 1987 top style. Um, Gem Mint PSA 10. Swinging from my Andrew Benintendi uh, collection to uh, I also like to collect graded cards of uh, Cincinnati Reds, and I like to just catch the Reds in their uh, flagship, you know, regular old Tops uh, product. Uh, this is uh, got a few 2019 cards. Here's 2019 Tops Jesse Winker in a PSA 9. Jesse Winker, of course, was traded at the beginning of this season. He's now a Seattle Mariner. Here's a 2019 Luis Castillo, also a PSA 9. Castillo is having a nice year, but um, the Reds are not. And uh, it is likely, as I record this, it's July 15th. The uh, Major League trade deadline is, is coming within a week, and it is likely that Castillo will be pitching for someone else uh, the balance of this year and then going forward. So, um, But we got him here. We also have a 2019 Tops Update Series, uh, Kurt Casale, uh, PSA 9. Kurt Casale, now a current giant. So three 2019 uh, issued cards. Uh, that was only three years ago. And uh, three years later, two of these guys no longer on the team. One of these guys not very long for the team. And kind of along the same theme, here's a 2018 Brandon Finnegan in a PSA 9. I'll tell you the truth. I haven't kept up with him. I'm not sure where Finnegan is nowadays. 
Here's a 2018 Tops Luis Castillo. We talked about him a bit. Here's a 2018 Tops Curie Mela. Uh, we got him when we traded. Geez, who did we even trade? I can't remember. I know he came from the Giants. This is his rookie card. You can see the emblem right there. And um, he was supposed to be the big component of whoever we traded away. I, I, I don't even remember who that was anymore. Obviously, Mela, four years later, I don't know where he is. Finnegan, four years later, I don't know where he is. Castillo won't be around much longer. Such is the lot of being a Cincinnati Reds fan nowadays. But another aspect of my personal collection, here you see him in the Reds, but I also collect uh, PSA graded cards of Ken Griffey Jr., such as this 2000 Finest uh, PSA 9 graded card. This is uh, the year he joined the Reds. You see him there at the press conference. Same year, 2000. Upper Deck SPX version, Ken Griffey Jr., PSA Mint 9. I like this card a lot. I've been looking over this card, and I'll tell you the truth. I need to do a little bit of research. Uh, the label up here titles this as a 1998 Sports Illustrated Then and Now card. But if you know, you can see it right there on the card. Kind of the titling or the subset that's mentioned is a place in history. And so I, you know, flip to the back. And, you know, here's the back gives a discussion of uh, Ken Griffey Jr.'s home run performance in 1997. Uh, you can see here, Jr. hit 56 home runs in 1997. That was second only to Mark McGuire. And you can also, if you read the blurb above, but I'll give you a little synopsis. Uh, Ken Griffey Jr. led the AL in home runs. McGuire was with the Cardinals by then. And uh, was, uh, as far as uh, a left-handed power hitter, um, was the first uh, lefty to hit that many home runs. Actually, the first player, period, to hit that many home runs at that point in time in the American League since Roger Maris hit 61 home runs in 1961. And then it will also say that... Um, uh, the only other left-handers to hit more home runs and lead the league were Roger Maris and then before him, Babe Ruth. Pretty cool. I'm not sure this is labeled correctly. Uh, I'll have to research the sets and see if that is indeed accurate. Um, you have the recourse as a consumer to send this card in to PSA and, and ask them to relabel it. I think they charge a small fee for that. And your card's out of your hands for some time. Quite honestly, I doubt that I will ever send this in to PSA. Um, but I will look into it to see if it is labeled correctly. Pretty sure this one's labeled correctly. It's a 1996 SP. And again, that's a kind of a, a series that was put out by Upper Deck. You can see their logo down here in the, in the center. Actually, that's the SP logo. There's the Upper Deck logo in the bottom left if you need it. 1996 SP checklist uh, for cards numbers 129 through 188, of course, featuring Junior on the front. Uh, there was a series of checklists uh, put out that year in which uh, Ken Griffey Jr. appeared on the front of each of them. Nineteen ninety-three Legends of Sports, Ken Griffey Jr. This is their uh, memorabilia silver card, uh, so noted for the silver border, I assume, and I'd have to look into this a little bit further, that there were other issues of the same or similar card, uh, but uh, maybe with a different colored border. Uh, Legends of or Legends of Sports uh, memorabilia. I don't know much about the company. Um, 1990s featured... Uh, uh, the rise of a few uh, card companies, uh, certainly Upper Deck was the, well, Upper Deck started in the late 1980s, but, you know, they were kind of the um, the progenitor of uh, several other sports card companies trying to try their luck and hopefully succeed in, in the same way that Upper Deck did. Um, 
not many did. And Legends of Memorabilia, or Legends of Sports uh, Memorabilia, Legends of Sports Memorabilia, no longer with us today. But uh, that's a pretty cool picture. PSA 9. And I got a couple more cards, just two more. Um, I'm not sure if I've shown this before, uh, but I'm going to show it again because I haven't put it away yet. And uh, I really dig this card. I like and also collect certified autographs of Cincinnati Reds. And uh, this one here, this is called, uh, this is Upper Deck Sweet Spots Classic Signatures. This is Jack McKeon, um, Trader Jack. He was a, uh, a front office guy uh, for several teams and, and uh, famously a manager for the Padres, the Reds, and the Marlins, and maybe a few other teams, to be honest. Um, this card is serial numbered at the bottom. It's in kind of a metallic blue. Uh, it's hard to read, but it's 105 of 150. And then the signature actually appears. So they uh, they had um, uh, Jack sign the sweet spot of a baseball and cut that. And uh, here it is in the card. So Jack McKeon. Um at this point in his career, he had 845 wins, 782 losses, a 519 winning percentage. Not shabby. Last card. 22, 2022, this year. Gypsy Queen, baseball. Um, what's the name down there? Oh, there isn't. This is a variation card. Um, used to be that the chase cards in a set, you know, you, you would read in... Beckett Magani, Beckett Magazine, or Tough Stuff, or just hear it from your friends that oh, there's a mistake card that you know just got published, and that was that held some value. That was uh, something that had a little gravitas, and so that's the old days of collecting. Nowadays, they manufacture these. Whoop, missing name. Well, this guy's name is Trey Ambergay. He. Uh, was acquired from the Yankees uh, and played uh, for a minute with the Reds at the end of 2021. So this gets classified as his rookie card. You'll see the rookie card logo right there. Uh, autograph card. And uh, Trey is uh, he's doing all right. He's in the minor leagues this year for the Cincinnati Reds. Hasn't gotten a call up, uh, but maybe he'll be back around before the end of the year. So that's it. Recent additions to the collection. And uh, more to come because, uh, like I said, although the video slowed down for a minute, the collecting is not.